Let's ask Fabrizio Fiorini, Chief Investment Officer at Aletti Gestielli SGR, which holds Italian bonds and has around $8 billion in assets. A very good morning to you. Welcome to the program. Let me just ask you this first question. Holding Italian yeah. bonds, is it really worth the risk right now? Yeah, it's, it's very risky just now. But I think that yesterday we, have, we had the demonstration that there is a huge problem, not an Italian problem, because until one week ago we can spoke about the possibility of change the government, and this should be the reason, because the Italian government bond can suffer. But yesterday everything around Europe suffered. So I think that the this is the demonstration that this is a problem of credibility of the ECB on one side and of the European countries on the other to help uh, together. Uh, we had the demonstration because the guild had a strong performance because the Bank of England bought it. In Europe, we are waiting for the ACB because the, on the other side, nobody wants to buy the peripherals. So this, there was an excuse that in Italy we have no government because now we have, and I think that we have a strong government with strong commitment to reduce debt and uh, deficit, and we are the only one in a primary surplus. So there is an excuse that the problem is the balance of the government. I think that now the attack is on the euro and we will continue to see this attack until the ACB will buy something because on the other side the EFSF has no more ammunition. No. Uh, Mr. To buy. Fiorin Sorry to interrupt you, we don't have a great deal of time. I was just wondering, just given all those problems and these crises that we're seeing, as far as Italian bonds extend, to, to what extent, if at all, have you reduced your positions in this sovereign debt over the past, say, six months? Zero. Zero. We maintain all the position because I think that five, six or seven, probably, we have to understand that we can see uh, all this level but I think that it's strong to see this level, and I think that in uh, just one uh, second we can reverse this level when we, we can see the ACB, and I think that we will see it by the peripherals on the one side and the EFSF intervene. So I think that it's a wrong thing to reduce the position just now because five, six, and seven are the same, and in one, in, in one second we can reverse all the movement. What would it take you to reduce, though, your holdings then? Is there comes a point when you think, you know what, I've really got to get out of here. Sorry? Uh, uh, Mr. Furian, I was just going to ask you what it would take to sell your holdings. No, I think that uh, I, I don't want to sell it. Uh, I, I had, just now, I had one billion and a half in the BTPs holding in my portfolios and I didn't reduce it, I continue to think that when I will have liquidity, I will continue to buy on the short end, because I don't think that 6%, six percent, six and a half on the two years, is uh, uh, re the real remuneration for an Italian government bond with this type of uh, balance in Europe, in, in Italy, sorry. What made you buy Italian debt in the first place? I remember a time when sovereign debt used to be so stable, so boring. <laughs> yeah, I th th this is the strange thing, because in two months, Italy was uh, the best of the peripherals, and now Italy is the worst of the peripherals. So I don't think that this is the reality. I think that the, the, the only door that these strangers are using to attack Europe is Italy. And so uh, nobody controls the, the Italian doors, and, and now we, we are suffering. On the one side, the Bund is uh, uh, um, everybody is using Bund to have a position on the core side, and now everybody is using uh, BTP's future to sell the peripherals. So this is another thing because we are suffering a lot. Everybody is edging the position using the BTP's future. Fabrizio Fiorini, fascinating to talk to you, head of fixed income at uh, Letty Gestielli. I'm grateful to you. Thanks for joining us on Bloomberg today.